Ladies and gentlemen, today we celebrate the launch of Headline Heroes, a groundbreaking program by EduTV, curated by school students worldwide. This initiative showcases stories of courage and innovation, reminding us of power of youth to inspire positive change. Congratulations to all the young minds involved. Here is to a future shaped by their vision and determination. Today we have Naman from GBM International School 21D Faridabad, our headline hero. Over to you, Naman. Good morning, everyone. I am Naman from GBN International School, Faridabad, India, and I am thrilled to welcome you to the very first episode of Headline Heroes on EduTV, where we bring the most important news stories around the world. Today, we have an exciting lineup of news to cover. I can't wait to get started. But before we dive into news, I would like to take a moment to talk about a significant event that began yesterday in the United States the NAFSA conference. For those who might not know, NAFSA stands for the Association of International Educators. This annual conference is the largest gathering of professionals in international education and it plays a crucial role in shaping the future of global education. The NAFSA conference brings together thousands of educators, administrators and policy makers from around the world to discuss key issues and trends. In international education, this year's theme is Expanding Community, Strengthening Connections, which highlights the importance of building strong global networks and fostering intercultural understanding. Greetings, bonjour. I'm Fanta Ave, the Executive Director and CEO of NAFSA. On behalf of our dedicated staff and the Board of Directors, welcome to the 2024 NAFSA Annual Conference and Expo here in New Orleans, Louisiana. I have been a member of NAFSA for more than 25 years, and I'm honored to host this amazing event on behalf of more than 11,000 members of our International Education Association. This week, we will learn, grow, network, and be in a community with more than 8,000 friends, colleagues, and experts from more than 110 nations who gather in a spirit of resilience, renewal, and community. Save time to enjoy New Orleans. This is a jubilant, diverse, and inclusive city, a mosaic of cultures and celebrated cuisine, home of Mardi Gras and the birthplace of American jazz. Be sure to join us at our plenaries this week. The programs will feature entrepreneur, inventor, and educator Luis Von An at our opening plenary, and social justice advocates Keith Plessy and Phoebe Ferguson at our Thursday plenary. You will not want to miss the remarkable spotlight speakers we have lined up. Connect with thousands of your colleagues at our opening celebration on Tuesday at Mardi Gras World featuring the celebrated local musicians, Rocking Dubsey Jr. and the Zydeco Twisters, a real taste of New Orleans culture and history. I very much look forward to seeing you throughout the week and thank you for being a part of our international education event of the year. Have a fabulous conference. Merci. One of the main focuses of this year's conference is on how educational institutes can better support international students ensuring they receive the best possible education and cultural experiences. Additionally, the conference will explore innovative teaching methods, advancements in education and strategies for promoting global partnerships. The discussions and workshops at the NAFSA conference are incredible the important, especially in today's interconnected world, by sharing knowledge and best practice educators can help create more inclusive and effective learning environment for students everywhere. We will be keeping a close eye on development of NAFSA conference throughout the week and we will bring you updates on the most important takeaways and insights from the prestigious event. Now let's move on the top of news stories. 
and the of the week stay tuned because we have a lot of interested news to cover in the next 10 minutes see you. we will just go for a break hi i'm back from atin and welcome to universal ai universe sitting in the bread taking location of kajal where we are committed to crafting leaders with character and equipping them with the technologies of the future i'm nandu and let me tell you the library is my happy place it's not just about books it's a cozy corner where you can dive into worlds that matches your interest my name is vardhan and of course my favorite place is the thomson reuters trading room where we are given trading lessons we have been provided with digital currencies in order to transact with international and domestic exchanges my name is omika and of course my favorite place is the wellness room which is a gadget free zone and you can really de-stress yourself plus you're allowed to take naps in here my name is wala of course my favorite place is the ai classroom where learning meets innovation sparked by human creativity hadnet and of course my favorite place is plaza come Chill with your friends, sit together, watch movies and cricket together, and have fun. Good to you. What's my favorite place is hostel. Our hostel is a home away from home. All in a distant place to stay, where we live, where we grow, where we make lifelong connections. I've been it. Of course, my favorite place is the gym. It has all the right equipment I need for my daily workout. Of course, my favorite place is the recreation, where we get to be competitive with our friends and also enjoy the art. I am Yash, and my favorite place is basketball court, where I get to enjoy basketball on a full size court. With the batch of 2024, and we are waiting for you. Welcome back after the break. I am Naman, your headline hero, beginning with the international news. Go public, strengthening Iraq's public education. Public education in Iraq has been severely impacted by year of crisis, armed conflicts, and economic challenges. Education International's affiliates in Iraq. are rallying under the go public fund education education campaign advocated for all resource equitable public education system that empowers respect and values teachers and education professionals webinar on reading material for younger and older children with leveling guide the webinar aims to emphasize the need of more and more engaging children's literature serialized comics and digital connect in arabic by promoting awareness of existing you know, resources across mena the webinar aims to strengthen guidance to po- policy makers and practitioners to reduce learning poverty based on each country's starting point to help inform policies and practice to inform in improve arabic language teaching and learning in mena banaras hindu university develops 15 new courses under swayam initiative the banaras hindu university varanasi has developed 15 new courses for swayam for 2024 session starting from july 22 these courses will offer an opportunity for learners to enhance their knowledge and skills across a diverse range of subjects from the broader areas of management commerce science medicine social science humanities and philosophy claims the press release thank you before we wrap up i have an exciting announcement schools across the world can nominate their students to become headline heroes on edu tv with million eyes in from 48 countries to participate simply scan the qr code in the next slide TV with 1 million eyeballs across the globe connecting schools universities industries and corporate houses